Hello everyone. I'm going to show you some nice iOS tweaks that we can do to modify Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, there's a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need to be on iOS. You're going to need to be jailbroken. And you're going to need iFile to be able to adjust the settings and values inside the game. Um, today we're going to go over stats. I'll do another video, hopefully before the week's up, or sometime next week, on how to change something else, like the color of the vehicles, or who gets what vehicles, or different ambience of things that can be done by changing the files around or editing them. So what you're going to need is to open up iFile. Then when it opens up, you're going to hit right here, that little sprocket, which is the settings. And you're going to want to go to File Manager, and you want to make sure it has application names. So if you have the application names on, it should be easy to find everything. So when it opens up, it should be at home. If not, press home. There's your applications. So right here, you'll see San Andreas. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And then you'll see the GTA 3 San Andreas app. So from here for the tweak, this is going to give us like some kind of cheats. But this isn't going to affect any of the gameplay. Uh, this is, if you follow the directions properly, you could uh, undo all of this. And this is nothing that will actually mess up the game. I know it is cheating, but it's more or less in this file it's cheating. The rest will be modding. We're editing the game how you want. So what we're going to go to is the AR stats that, which is underneath of all the translations of the English. And now everything's in alphabetical order. So we're going to go to AR underscore stats that. It's going to ask us what to open it with. We're going to open it with the text editor. So that's the file you want to be in. All right, what we're going to do to be on the safe side though before we get to playing around with any of the files is we're going to take AR stats that we're going to hit edit up on the top right we're going to highlight it so it gets that black dot and then we're going to hit the plus alright my fault alright so we're going to hit copy the link and then we're gonna paste the link so there's actually two two of them so it's gonna ask you the file already exists Do you want to rename it or overwrite it so we rename it so now we have two of them so that'll be our duplicate so if we have any problems we can revert back to that so also what I like to do is rename it So I'm naming it the exact same, but what I'm going to do is put an extra T, so it says D-A-T-T. -T. And when I'm done, I go back and you'll see there's two. There's the double D-A-T-T, -T, which is my duplicate. And now I'm just going to open this up, the original. And it's going to ask me text view, you know, what do I want to open it with. So we're going to do the text viewer. So now if you come up all the way to the top, there's some uh, information on what it is. And from there, there's some notes. The notes are numbers on the left hand must align up. Any new stats need, see somebody at Rockstar Team, feel free to adjust the values. Rockstar is giving you permission to do this. Okay. So... If we scroll down, we'll see there's a bunch of things we can change. You'll see amount stats get increased. Increased cycle stamina, swimming, sprint. So that's the um, amount that it increases for your increased health, all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and hit edit. We're going to just change them all. 
So we want an increase of 100. And you got to be sure not to mess up the starting point of the number. Alright, so we're just going to change all those to 100. Now we're kind of getting into a long video here. I could have sworn I was going to try my best to make this as short as possible. And that's why I want to do a couple of videos so you guys aren't bored all to hell with me doing one hour long video on how to go through each file. This is just alone one file. Okay, so that's that point for the stats. Hopefully I didn't bump the camera too much. So all the stats I just changed to 100. So it's going to increase by 100. So then we have weapons. For weapon skill, how much for the stat? So every time a bullet's fired, how much are we increasing the stats? So we can go ahead and change every one of those to 100. And you could see on the information, stat increase, sawed off shotgun skill. And this is the reason why you want to always make a duplicate. Because when you get in here and you're messing with stuff, if you make an error, it will crash. So I definitely would advise you that if you're going to do this, Adjust one thing at a time and see how it plays well. There's nothing like doing all this work and getting into the file and then having to, you know, deal with a crash and you're like, oh man, I lost all my information. I don't know what that value was. All right. So now we have stats get decremented. So how much fat do you want to lose? I'm going to lower that to 5. How much body muscle do you want to lose? We'll put that at 1. And how much health do you want to lose? And that's usually when you're like real skinny. So we're going to put that at 0 because nothing for that. That's not going to give you invincibility. Alright, so then you have the exercise stats. It's basically the same as the weapons. Um, stat exercise rate. So 10 equals standard rate, one second for one count. So you can change them to five, one, lower them, however you want to put them. You can even do a point oh one. It doesn't have to be just one. It'll go all the way up to as much as you want to get, even if you want to go negative. If, say I do negative one. That's how much I'll have to sprint for it to increase. So all these values have just been changed to lower. Now this is pretty much permanent unless you use the, the duplicate that you made and revert to that. Alright, so these are all the timers of how long you'll have to sprint before the, strat the, the stats get adjusted. So time limit for stamina, we'll make it one second. This is how long you'll have to do just about everything. so much to do in here and it's just one file and like I said there's more I even show you how to adjust your cash and it's not gonna adjust the cash to when you turn on the game you're gonna notice a significant amount of money but what it'll do is it will let you have items you can purchase that'll actually pay you instead of you having to pay for it like let's say I put wheels on my car I can now have that pay me so next we're gonna go to stat limit for this is how long okay 
these time limit comes before the stat increases. So the weapon skill denotes how many accurate shots must be fired for you to get the stat. So every time you shoot 50 bullets at a pistol, it'll actually adjust your stats. So we're going to go ahead and make that one. So I shoot one bullet, it's going to adjust my stats. And when we're done this, I'll show you an example on the game. If I didn't mess up a line, I, I hope I didn't. I think I know which line I messed up, but you'd be able to see better than I would. I'm actually looking at two screens. So now, no matter which handgun, firearm that I get, whatever, whatever I use, whatever I shoot, I'll automatically have skill just by shooting that one shot. Um, stat limit for death, I'm not really sure how that works, but stat time limit add to health, I'm going to change that to a second. I don't remember what it is, but it's not going to mess anything up on that file. I forget exactly what it does. So over here you'll see it'll say EOH, that EOF. That means end of file. So basically almost everything's been tweaked in this file to help out for my stats. So now we want to go ahead and save it. And then we're done. So we adjusted this right here to stats dot that. Not the stats dot that that. That is a duplication a duplicated file. For if we have any problems, we can go back. Making a duplicate beforehand of making any adjustment, I cannot express how important that is for you to do this, or else you'll end up like I did last night. I was playing with all this last night on my iPhone, and I completely lost the file, and I had to delete it and reinstall it. It was very frustrating. Okay, so now we've edited the file. We don't need iFile no more. We want to make sure everything's closed, and then we're going to go into San Andreas and open that up. And we're going to see how well we did with the stats. Now, I'm not going to show you what adjusting all the stats, but you can see what stats I've adjusted. And you can see how they're going through and actually being manipulated. So, like I said, on the next video that I make, what I'll do is I will search another file and make adjustments and show you how to make adjustments for that. Whether it be money cars, car color, um, just different variables that can be in a game that you can adjust and you'll be on yourself to adjust the behavior of the game how you like. Alright, so now we're just going to do, we're going to sprint. And you can see my health is just growing right there from me sprinting. So... Let's see, stamina is almost at full. I should have showed you beforehand. Stamina is full. Alright, now if we go into the garage, I have my car. I think driving's in here? No, it's not. Okay, let's go to stats. And there's my driving skill. Zero. Zero driving skill. I think uh, I also didn't show you the shooting too. I'll show you the shooting. So weapons. Pistols. Poor. Okay. So we're going to jump in the car. And I just... Didn't even go down the block. So back to the stats. Driving is 10%. Just from driving up the block. That's, that's a pretty big jump. So if we go up the block. And back. It should be close to 100 percent on the driving skill so it's it's not a very fast status adjustment but it definitely fixes your stats you know 
I didn't even leave the neighborhood driving skill 100% so let's do one last test which is the handgun I think I have to actually have some kills on that though I should have found some people because we're already in like almost a 20 minute video I'm so sorry to have to make you guys watch this long of a video to learn how to adjust one file but I'm trying my best to give you real good information and here we go here's some people Bro Street Buster uh, and we're gonna do the Uzi and we should be all official on that he's not double fisting it so I'm not 100% there we go double fisting And I get ran over. But anyways, you get the point. I didn't really have to work hard to fill up the stats. And I know that was one of the things that people really didn't like on Grand Theft Auto to have to do the stats. So we're going to go over the weapon. And machine pistol, I'm the hitman. For pistol, I'm the hitman. So everything went up from poor to that just by altering those values. And... There's more that we can adjust, and we'll go over that in another video. I just wanted to show you if you're jailbroken, how to adjust these files, and how to actually do it properly. You know, doing everything the right way is very, 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 very important. So, what you want to do is make sure you save it and then go into your save house and once that's all saved you're good to go and you've now adjusted all your stats by changing the values inside the script by using iFile and being jailbroken and just by running I'm already 87 percent I barely even went down the block so things do change by those stat variable adjustments so the more you adjust with that the better off you'll be to mod and please check back I'll, I'll try my best to make it a shorter video check back within a week for my channel I'll be updating with a newer video on how to change another file whether it be color or money or even comment what you would want me to do next on what file you would like me to alter or teach you how to alter and I'll be sure to throw that up please like and subscribe share the video if you can I know a lot of people are big fans of Rockstar games, so let's get this out there and let them know that the, the fun is back for Rockstar games. This is something we've been doing with San Andreas on PC and having been doing with PlayStation 2 and all the old platforms that these Rockstar games were on. This is all the fun stuff. Let's bring the fun back to the future now that Rockstar has finally put these fun games on the iOS platform. Thanks for watching.